This video is in response to your request. So we're briefly reviewing each of the three printables that I've created for this YouTube channel to date so you can decide if you are interested in any of them. The links to all of these printables and their accompanying videos that describe how to use the printables are linked below. I'm gonna give you quick descriptions of each and I've broken these up into the following categories. I've also listed the timestamps for you here on the screen and in the description down below. So let's get started. The first category is budgeting, which I think is really important to keep track of, especially now with everything going on in the world. I created this monthly expenses and budget tracker to go on the this month currently slash month at a glance page but you could also use it as a separate insert. At the top, you fill in your budget for each spending category. You write down your expenses and the category it falls into. And then at the end of the month, you can add up the total for each category and write that in at the top. I also really like to color code each of the categories. I think that's fun. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm going this book tracker or reading tracker printable includes these faux library checkout cards that you fill out for each month with the name of the book that you read, the author, and then give it a rating between one to five stars. I put mine in this pocket pouch, but if you don't have one, you could just add these to a piece of Happy Planner notepaper. The birthday tracker is for keeping all of your family members, friends, and co-workers birthdays in one place. I keep this in my home management notebook so my husband can look up birthdays if he forgets, but I mostly reference this tracker when I'm planning out the year so I can write down birthdays, but also my deadlines for when I'm going to buy the gifts, when I'm going to make the cards, etc. in my planner. This one is a tracker for logging your meals, water, and vitamins. There is space for tracking three weeks on each sheet so it won't take up a bunch of space in your planner. The time management strategies video has two printables. The time management insert breaks down the process for productive planning into actionable steps. So you can print it out and add it to your planner if you need a reminder of what to do next. The second insert is the time tracker, which I've used in two different ways. One of the ways you can use a time tracker insert is for determining where your time is going. The idea is that for one week in your life, you fill in what you are doing in 30 minute increments. Then at the end of the week, you color code it based on different life categories like work, home, family, personal, recreational, etc. By visualizing how your time is allocated, you can determine if you're spending more time on activities that aren't your top priorities. And then you know where you can cut back. When I did this activity, one of the things I realized was that I was taking too much time to get ready before church on Sundays. And if I moved more quickly, I could get some editing done for my YouTube channel as well. The second way I use this insert is to create a template or guide for my weekly schedule. I find that I am most productive when I have a basic structure to follow. So I blocked out how I wanted to be spending my time each week and when my routines will be taking place. This is meant to be used as a reference as I plan out my week, especially when I'm starting out with a new schedule and it hasn't become a habit for me yet. If you are new to brain dumping, it can sometimes be challenging to know where to start as you generate a list for planning out your month or your week. This insert lists out topics within 13 different life categories to help prompt you to remember what needs to get done. For example, under the home category, do you have any home organization projects to work on? Are there any services or inspections that you need to schedule? Do you need to plan in days for meal prepping, etc.
This one is dot grid paper sized for the classic sized happy planner. You can use it to make a key or a habit tracker or an index, a weekly spread, etc. But even if you have no interest in bullet journaling in a happy planner, dot grid paper can be used for pretty much any insert you can think of. The cataloging planner supplies video is about ways you can track what is in your planner collection. Each drop here, for example, represents a different color of my Stadler pens. And all of my sticker books are represented by a stamp. My blue washi collection is here also. The actual free printable is kind of like a coloring page for your pens. I colored in each doodle for each paper mate flare pen color that I own. This printable comes with different sizes of box stickers, banners, checklists, and icons in order to decorate a weekly spread with. In the video, I explained how I created each type of sticker just using Microsoft Word. The how to make the most out of planner printables video covers ways to extend the life of your printables and it comes with four sheets of planner stickers and one insert to decorate a weekly planner spread with. You could print these out onto printer paper and just paste them in your planner, or you could print it out onto sticker paper. I created this printable because I was getting frustrated with how long it can take to decorate a planner each week. So I gave myself a challenge. I set my timer for 10 minutes and I scrambled to get it done. The idea of this printable is that you just have to print it out, cut and paste, and all of your to-do lists in today's sections and sidebar are ready to go. This was another timed challenge, but for decorating in under 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes. This one is themed for the 4th of July, and it takes a little bit longer to cut out because I also included stars to cover up the dates with. This is a weekly layout with a coloring page theme. All you have to do is print, cut, and paste, and then color it in. This printable is for directly printing onto your Happy Planner page with. This is another way to save time if you don't want to have to decorate. In the video, I go over some techniques for printing onto a Happy Planner and how you can use white stickers to cover up headers in order to change the sizes of your boxes. So you see I have the today section at the top, then a larger to do section, and a smaller home section at the bottom. These six meal planning printables include a locations printable, which I use to write a list of which stores sell foods I most commonly buy, Specifically Costco because the Costco's in my area all sell different like products, different types of food. And so we have to shop at several different ones to get everything that we need. The stock ingredients printable is a list of items I want to have on hand at all times because they are so commonly used in our recipes. Quick meals is a list of quick recipes to cook in about 10 minutes or less when we don't have time. Food gifts is where I plan out what I need to cook or bake to give us gifts for holidays and other occasions. The food gift tracker allows me to check off once I've either baked or prepared the item and once I've given that item to the recipient. The perishable ingredients insert is my favorite because it categorizes each recipe based upon the perishable ingredients that recipe uses. So for example, if I have green onions in my fridge and I don't want them to go bad and I wanna use them up, I can go to this list to see which recipes use green onions like chicken adobo, for example. And that helps me to pick out which meals to include in my meal plan. I recommend watching this video to learn more about how to use each of these printables because I go into more detail. This is a recipe card size for a classic size happy planner. 
It has a space for the name of the recipe, the number of servings, the rating you give it between one to five stars, the ingredients, and the instructions. The printables in my wellness planner setup video were created to help you reduce stress. The support network printable is meant to represent the people you can reach out to by calling or texting, emailing, or messaging when you need help. So my idea was to write down the name of that person and their phone number under each doodle so you can reference this insert during those times when you need a reminder that you are not alone. The next five printables are coloring sheets. There are studies that show how coloring has the ability to reduce anxiety and these sheets are meant to be placed in a specific order in your planner so you can read it as if it's a letter of encouragement to yourself during moments when you need motivation. I created the Bible reading tracker because I wanted a flexible reading plan. There are some days when I want to really focus on a single verse and other days when I read multiple chapters, but I have never found a plan that could accommodate that. But with this tracker, you check it off as you go and then you get to read the Bible in any order you prefer. I wanted a place where I could keep the notes I took during sermons at church, but also think a little more deeply about what I had learned. So I designed this to include a place for the title, date, speaker name, and notes, but also a question asking what I can do to put what I learned into action, and then a space to summarize the big picture and my takeaway from that sermon. The back of this printable has more space for additional notes. The Happy Planner goal setting video includes a printable that has a section for four main goals that you are focusing on per month. Under the roadmap section, you can break the goal down into actionable steps and assign deadlines. Beneath that, in the accountability section, you can answer the questions, what could go wrong and how can I prevent it? In order to prepare yourself or avoid potential setbacks. Under monthly check-in, you check back in with yourself about how you did on your goal and what you could have done better, if anything. This printable is a guide for a planner de-stash based upon the KonMari method, and it lists out the different categories and subcategories of planner supplies to go through. The idea of this is that you tackle one category at a time, you get out the entire collection of items that fall under that category, even if they're stored in different rooms, so you can visually see just how much stuff you have. For example, I was shocked at how many pens I owned when I filmed this video because they were being stored in different locations in my apartment. And this helped me to realize that I could give some away. And after I was done going through all of my planner supplies, I ended up with two bags of trash and one box of items to donate. These are cards for establishing new routines to remind you when to check off items in your planner and when to check your planner for your next to-do item in order to make planning into a habit when you are just starting out planning. I definitely recommend watching this video to learn more about how to use these cards. Do you want me to do another summary video like this one on some other topic? Maybe of all the videos on different insert ideas or something else? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!